Hi and welcome back everybody. Hope you're all having a fantastic day out there. We have had a tremendous amount of support here on the channel as of late. So I want to do another giveaway. We just had one a few weeks ago where we gave out some XRP. I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna give out another 100 XRP and this is how it's gonna work. Whoever comments with an X the most, so separate comments with an X, drops those Xs in the comment section, will win 100 XRP. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and let's grow this community out because we are staying informed and we are growing tremendously fast. Got some breaking news. I wanna get it all to you out in a timely fashion, so let's get straight into it. Jo uh, Justin, Ron DeSantis. I wanna know how you all feel about Ron DeSantis. He is now vowing to protect Bitcoin rights if he is to become president. And along with that says, no longer will there be this idea of a CBDC, at least here in the States. Now, know what some of you are gonna say out there, look, he's a Bitcoin maxi, so to speak. He's all about Bitcoin and that sort of thing. Not necessarily the case. He is about innovation, opening up the borders of this innovation within here in the States and helping innovators in digital assets grow their businesses. So I personally am a fan of Ron DeSantis. Do I agree with him on everything? Absolutely not. But let me know in the comment section, how do you all feel about Ron? Is he our guy going forward into the 2024 election? Interesting article here, WEF, World Economic Forum. We all have our opinions on them, right? Publishes crypto asset regulation recommendations for government industry insiders say. So they are saying they've released a white paper on crypt, uh, crypto asset regulation assisted by digital currency governance. And the need for regulation is obviously urgent, they're saying. Cooper cooperation is key, the paper found. Of course, right? Everyone needs to cooperate. But here's a direct quote. Crypto assets and their ecosystem do not always fit squarely into the existing activity-based intermediary, oh, can't talk, that's a mouthful today, focused approach of regulation, even where crypto asset activities mirror those traditional financial sectors. And that goes on to say, they provided crypto mixtures Self-hosted wallets and decentralized exchanges also complicate regulation. So meanwhile, increasing interconnectedness with traditional finance increases potential contagion risk for the crypto industry, which was only recently full of turmoil. They're talking about the FTX situation, obviously. So got a lot they're saying here. Um, WEF whether you like them or not, obviously are a group or an organization full of some of the most powerful individuals in the world that make the decisions for you and I. So we obviously have to listen to what they're saying. I don't necessarily want to play by all of their rules, but we have to understand what rules of the road that they are trying to incorporate because we know what's happening with the SEC and their lack of rules of the road. So it's good to get a good square idea on what everyone is saying. Now, Norway, what are they saying? Should consider a national strategy for crypto regulation, Norwich's bank reports. So the bank says lawmakers should take advantage of existing regulations that cater to systematic risk and enforcement action, for example, as well as stresses the need for crypto specific ones. So Norway is very bullish on crypto, in my personal opinion. Let me know your thoughts, comment section below. But they are moving along in a much faster speed than what we see here in the States. And the Norwegian authorities are saying they're gonna assess whether to proceed more quickly rather than waiting for international regulatory solutions. They want to move along. They want to move much more rapid. And we're starting to see that more so in Europe. 
we are starting to see countries take a hold of this and say, look, we're done waiting. We are done waiting. We're moving forward. And that's what we are seeing. Debt ceiling talks enter crunch time as negotiators get closer to a deal. Guys, we are so close to June 1st right now. It is ridiculous. We are just days away. We're a sensitive phase with sensitive issues that remain. Are we going to get some sort of clarity before the U.S. defaults on debt? We've talked about what happens when we default on debt. We're talking millions and millions of jobs lost. We're talking in a stock market that could potentially plummet in a big way. What happens with the cryptocurrency market if the stock market is to plummet? Well, we know, unfortunately, at this present time, the crypto market is very sideways and, and paralleled with the stock market. When you see a big sell-off in the stock, stock market, you're more than likely going to see one in the crypto market. And that's what we've seen until we get that decoupling effect, which I won't see i i believe i won't see at least until the next bull run which i see happening into the second half of next year so that's all i got for you for now again if you want to enter drop that x as many x's as you can get in that comment section click that like button click that subscribe button and we'll see you all in the next one